Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So do you know those little three or four letter suffixes at the end of file names after the dot? They're called file extensions, and they let you and other programs know what kind of file you're dealing with, whether it's a movie, a song, or a love letter. And for a very long time, whenever you saved a Microsoft Word document, you'd see that the program would slap a .doc extension onto it, which made a lot of sense, right? Doc for document. But recently, you may have noticed that your files now have a .docx extension. So why X? Is it for extreme to make Word sound more exciting than the mere Word processor? Or is Microsoft just trying to tell you that if you need a nice looking document, .docx gonna give it to you? Well, in a way, the answer to that second question is actually yes. You see, the old doc standard was a proprietary format, meaning that it was designed only to be read properly by MS Word. Doc offered many more features than the plain text documents that could be read by virtually any PC, such as the ability to embed comments, insert images, and use footnotes, just to name a few. But this also meant that these features had to be encoded in a way that could be read by your word processor. And because Microsoft didn't open the standard so that non-Microsoft programs could read them with 100% accuracy, they often don't look quite right if you try to open them in, for example, LibreOffice Writer, Google Docs, or Apple's Pages. And depending on what MS Word feature the original file utilized, they sometimes ended up looking like a complete mess. In fact, support for the doc format was even pulled from WordPad, the free word processor bundled with Microsoft's own Windows operating system, partly because it had a hard time rendering these files properly. DocX, on the other hand, is an open standard, meaning that it's available for other programs to fully implement. So if you start working on a report in Word and later want to collaborate on it in real time in Google Docs, your browser-based copy should play nicely with the original file. So the X in DocX actually stands for XML, a markup language that's superficially similar to HTML, the code that defines how a web page is supposed to look on your screen. Now, since XML is also an open standard that's much more streamlined than the old doc format, it not only provides the benefit of greater compatibility, but its simpler structure makes it a more difficult target for malware, less susceptible to file errors, and easier for your computer to process, meaning improved loading times and better responsiveness if you're trying to work with a complicated document. So it was all of these advantages, along with some gentle nudging from government regulators who were concerned about their market power, which led Microsoft, which by the way is a company that's notorious for its preference for closed standards, to make the switch to DocX starting with Office 2007, making our home and Office PCs more compatible than ever before. Though some industry players still saw this move as Microsoft inappropriately trying to influence open standards bodies. Man, poor old Microsoft just can't catch a break, can they? Well, however you feel about the company, the DocX format proved useful and is now a mainstay on modern versions of Word with the features we mentioned also extending to the formats now used by other Office programs such as Excel and PowerPoint, complete with the X at the end of the file name to let you know that you're using the new standards, collectively called Office Open XML. Just don't count on it making your all-nighters more exciting because you put off a term paper for three months. And speaking of putting things off, are you racing against the clock as a freelancer? It's challenging, but with the growth of the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. To meet this need, check out FreshBooks cloud accounting software, designed for the way that you work. It's the simplest and easiest way to be more productive, organized, and most importantly, get paid quickly. Create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, set up online payments with just a couple of clicks, and get paid up to four days faster. And you can even see when your client has seen your invoice, meaning no more guessing games. And right now, FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers. To claim it, just go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and enter techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching, guys. You know what to do by now. Like, dislike, comment with video suggestions, check out our other channels, and don't forget to hit subscribe.